My name is Gavin Evans, and this is my list of the three worst shows of 2023. And I only picked three out because this is the year that when I started watching a show and I didn't like it, I turned it off. I did that most of the time here. Uh, Warrior Season 3, I was excited for it, and it bored me to no end, so I just stopped watching it. I realized I could do that. So there was only a few shows that I didn't like that I watched all the way to the end. And if you look at the thumbnail, you already know the three I picked out. But anyways, let's begin with the third worst show, and it's Jerry Duty. Which really bums me out because the first two episodes were a pleasant surprise. I actually found it to be pretty funny and James Martin cracked me up. But after those first two episodes, the show just takes a massive dip in quality and it just becomes insufferable. It's almost never funny again. I thought the majority of the cast members just fell flat and then it tries to be this feel-good show at the very end and it just felt so unbelievably phony. So just nothing about it worked for me aside from those first two episodes. So, so that's why it's on my list. The second worst TV show of 2023 is Scott Pilgrim Takes Off. And this is a show that I know had lots of controversy behind it. But I went in with an open mind and I thought it was just incredibly bad fan fiction. Like, this show is embarrassing. The one episode where Wallace just hooks up with everyone, I'm just like, okay, yeah, this just feels like a fan of the movie just found a way to put his fan fiction out for everyone to see it. Um, I don't think the ideas it's going for land at all. I think the plot twist with who's behind everything is so cliche and tired and the show's never funny and I thought the voice cast phoned it in for the most part. I wasn't a big fan of the animation style. It just did not work for me. I thought it was a terrible season of television. But the real reason why I made this list is so I can talk about the worst show of 2023. And I'm, go I'm going to try to keep this video short, but it's The Last of Us. I think this show is atrocious. I think it is such a giant piece of shit. And the love it has received is truly baffling to me. And to understand where I come from, I love The Last of Us. The Last of Us Part 2 is the greatest story ever told, period. It is better than every movie that exists. It is better than every other video game. It is better than every TV show. It is number one. I think it is a brilliant, heartbreaking look at the human condition and I adore it. I th love the first game. It is my third favorite story of all time. So, so I was really excited for this show. I even went to the set of it and it just breaks my heart that this show is as bad as it is. Let's begin with the performances and I thought Pedro Pascal's take on Joel was just completely off. He can be a good actor but his performance here just fell completely flat for me and it felt like he was trying too hard and he just doesn't have the tough guy persona. Then you've got Bella Ramsey, who I was willing to give a chance to and I thought she was really bad. I thought, um, especially when she has more to do in like the second last episode, the winter segment, she just can't pull it off. She can maybe do some of the smaller moments fine, but... By the end, I was just like, yeah, this is a total miscast. And I really don't like this show's take on these characters. They emasculate Joe to a degree that is counterproductive to his character. 
Like, his entire arc in the first game is how he's closed off. He's tough and he's surviving, but he has nothing to live for. And it's him willing to open himself up again. But the show just skips all of that, and day one, he already feels really soft. Him and Ellie are driving together, and he tells her all about Tommy. And I'm just like... No, this doesn't work for me. Like, um, in the game, there's a section where Ellie asks about his life before the virus. And she's just like, too much? And he's like, yeah, too much. And here he just tells her everything. I also never really bought the relationship between the two of them. I also thought they butchered David. Like, he is a very nuanced view of evil in the game, of what's needed to survive. And here, he's just evil religious man. I hated this show's take on Bill and Frank. Bill is supposed to represent what it would be like if Joe doesn't open himself up again. And here, they just force feed you the ideas, and I just thought... um. It didn't feel like Bill, and I thought the writing was really bad, and the take where he actually ends up killing himself so he doesn't have to live a life without Frank is evil. I think that is an evil message to send. I really do. Like, it is repulsive what they did in that episode, and that everyone's praising it to be the best love story ever. Um, Sam and Henry, they actually did right. I'll give credit where it's due. I thought uh, they did a really good job, and I like the addition that uh, Sam is deaf. Really great decision, though. But Melanie Leninsky is awful. Like, honestly atrocious. Like, what were they thinking? And, um, oh my goodness, I could really go on and on and just nitpick this show to death, but it is the most frustrating show. Um, I thought the direction was off for the most part. Oh my goodness. First of all, I hate the last episode when Ellie, well, Joe tells Ellie that uh, it wasn't, um, I don't know, they're having a conversation and he says he didn't kill himself and something to do with it was, be it was because of her or something like that. It was just really heavy handed, really in your face. But then we finally get to, to the hospital sequence. And the hospital sequence is like the big finale. And they just do a montage of him killing people. Like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> like you messed up this entire ending. Oh, and speaking of which, there's like no action. They show, oh, but given the game's not an action. So they shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. The game is filled with action. And you need the action in the whole to show you how far these characters have come to care for each other. And without it, this world just doesn't feel all that deadly. And then, um, yeah, so I think that was a terrible mistake. I hated the fact that, um, I, I know, I could go on and on. I, I hate so much about this show. I'm a diehard Last of Us fan, and honestly, it just broke my heart. I would say I won't watch season 2 because I don't want to watch my favorite story be ruined. But honestly, curiosity will get the better of me. And I'll probably end up watching it. And I'm going to be just as pissed off when they mess it all up. Um, yeah, so I think it's a terribly made show, terribly written, terribly acted. I love the story. I love the characters. They just fucked it all up. So that's why The Last of Us is the worst show of 2023. And I kept that to like seven minutes so not too bad but what are your worst shows of 2023 let me know in the comments down below make sure you like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos soon and gavin out